So I found this YouTube channel called uh, Priesthood Men or something uh, on TikTok. And it's a Mormon TikTok account. Just, just give it a listen. What if baptism for the dead is actually quantum physics? Most think it's just a ritual, but if time isn't linear, baptism might just be a checkpoint, a way for a soul to step back into their timeline and experience it. It's not just tradition, it's metaphysical. Tag someone who loves when science and faith collide. Let's go, Twain. Okay, I don't know who this Twain fellow is or why we're cheering for him, but this bit that he said here um, about time being linear. Well, but if time isn't linear... Time is linear. I don't know what gave you the idea time is not linear. It is linear. However, you can go backward and forward in time, theoretically, depending on like your, your speed or you know your movement speed or whatever other thing. But by the way, what does that have to do with quantum physics? How did that get thrown in here exactly? <laughs> I don't... He just has a lot of buzzwords and people don't take the time to figure out what these buzzwords mean. I know a pretty good bit about physics. Theoretically, we can go backwards in time, but we can go forwards in time technically if you're in space. It, you, just, you just age slower. Yeah, it's uh, if you imagine a two-dimensional graph, X, Y axis, and you're moving north or up the Y axis at 100 miles an hour, right? Your horizontal movement is zero. Your vertical movement is 100. If you move diagonally, you are now moving 50 miles an hour horizontally and 50 miles an hour vertically, right? But mm -hmm. you're moving 100 miles an hour total. Um, it works the same way with time, as time is the fourth dimension. So we have three spatial dimensions, and then the fourth dimension is time. So our forward momentum through space uh, changes our movement through time, basically. Um, the faster we move through space, the slower we move through time in the same way. Anyway, uh, God, there... This one is actually, I got some zingers on this, uh, this TikTok account. Let's just look at a couple more of these. Okay, I want to come back to this one. This one is not related to the YouTube channel. Check this out. Listen up, Exmos. Since you want to flood my page with comments. He's complaining about ex-Mormons. I'll Exmos. make this statement. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the only true and living church on the face of the whole earth. And the only church. Listen to this stupid music in the background, bro. I love it, actually. I think it adds to the ambiance. Okay. Church on the face of the whole earth. And the only church with the authority necessary to perform saving ordinances required for one's exaltation. Now, I recognize. So he's saying he thinks the Mormon church is the only organization on the face of the earth with the right to perform ordinances that will get you into heaven okay this is a bold statement yeah it's a bold statement yet i offer no apologies because i'm not telling you about something that i read in a book i'm talking about my life but you literally are talking about what's in a book my own personal experience with jesus christ the only begotten son of the father and so although did he come down and tell you all of this? Yeah, well, you may he's over here pleasuring Jesus like a young man should. Of the Father. And so, although you may be able to dispute historical, uh, you know, records. Even though we can dispute historical records? You cannot tell me what I know. I claim the privilege of worshiping Almighty God according to the dictates of my own conscience. And I allow all men and women the same privilege. Let them worship when, where, and what they may. You will not find me commenting on an anti-Mormon uh, post about how the church is true. I stay in my lane. Stay in your lane. I'm a different breed. Okay. He's yes. a different breed, guys. Definitely. Different breed, for sure. <laughs> I'll give you that one. So, we're supposed to stay in our lane. I'm not an ex-Mormon, but I guess he categorizes me the same. I shouldn't be coming to Mormon posts and talking smack about them, you see. 
uh, <laughs> since we're talking about Mormons, check this out. Some dudes went to BYU, I think, BYU? Yeah, BYU. The Mormon uh, college to interview people. I love these interviews. Right, so the, the, uh, I'm going to say a quote. The quote is, Negroes are not equal to other races. Now, who do you think said that? Apostle Bruce R. McConkie or German leader Adolf Hitler? Uh, I would I would guess German leader Adolf Hitler. You would be incorrect. It was <laughs> his, his face. He... Oh, this is this poor dude. Apostle Bruce R. McConkie. Wow. It's got to be Apostle wow. because... Yeah. I really like her sweater. Sorry. Also, she, she seems to know that they said some pretty bad stuff before. Yeah, listen, she said it's got to be an apostle. Listen to her reaction. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Final guess. Apostle. Ap I'm going to guess Bru Bruce R. McConkie. You would be correct. That's insane. Yeah, you know, there's like a Mormon look, right? You can see the Mormon look. You got the skirt hiked up to just under your boobs here, and you got the the stripe pattern and the frumpy shirt and everything. It screams Mormon. Jehovah's Witnesses used to have a similar style where all of the women are wearing like super long skirts and like long sleeve whatever. Mm. Yeah, they're allowing women to wear pants now at the yeah. meetings though. Changed so. recently. Unfortunately, now it's more difficult. To yeah. spot a Jehovah's Witness. By the way, guys, check out my new shop, owenmorgan.com slash shop. I have a bunch of really cool designs on there. It's reality. I would hope not the apostle. But, but she knows. But, she said but. Yep. I mean, <laughs> um, I'm going to go with Hitler. Unfortunately, it was not. It was Bruce R. McConkie. He's the one who said that. Yeah. Uh. Probably Bruce R. McConkie. You'd probably be correct. That is right. A good old apostle. Why was the dude, like, smiling like an idiot through all of that, I wonder? Like, he, he doesn't see anything wrong with that? Are they not connecting the dots here? I, I don't know that one. Really? You don't know? Really? Could have made a guess. First time you've ever heard this before. Okay. I feel like you'd want to say that it's Hitler, but... Read it. I don't know. I know that's a, yeah. Um, can an answer be I don't know, or do we, do we need to choose? I want you to give an answer. Who do you think said it? Um, I'll still say Hitler. <laughs> really? You too, Hitler? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, you unfortunately you'd be incorrect. It's Apostle Bruce R. McConkie. These people are embarrassing. Like, I don't understand how they're still a part of this movement. Was it ordained by God or not? Did it have God's backing or at the time when he said that stuff or not? If it didn't have God's backing, then why would you think it has God's backing today? It goes in a loop. It's just, it's exactly the same as, like, anything else. The God in the Old Testament, he's a vengeful, non-merciful, and evil God. But he has to be the same God as the New Testament. And, by the way, I wonder how they feel about the book titled Mormonism and the Negro by John J. Stewart, 1960. That was a Mormon book that you can look up today and read if you would like and it basically said black people have the curse of ham and um that their skin is black because they have the curse of ham and uh god is punishing them basically if you don't know the story ham it was like the guy that it was noah's son after the flood noah got like super drunk and was stark naked naked as a lark as my mom would say <laughs> laying in his tent and ham walked in and saw his dad just sitting there with the twig and berries hanging out and uh he turned around and left and told his siblings oh my god dad's in there and he's naked as a lark in there and his brothers like walked in backward holding a blanket and covered him up without looking but because ham saw his dad naked that was enough to curse an entire lineage of people and those people are now black so on anyway. accident yeah this all happened on accident yep. god was like wow you gotta have a curse very loving huh anyway yeah so the point is um that wasn't from the tiktok channel i just decided to go looking in some other tiktok stuff you know, it deep seems dive. Kind of interesting yeah but uh i'm definitely gonna be keeping my eye on this uh tiktok channel let me know what you think in the comments